Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have the high grade Grimoire Red Beret, and we're going to go ahead and do a pose video. Now in a pose video, we're going to go ahead and go over three different poses, um, any of which can be something out of my head or something as a reference from maybe the anime or perhaps some illustration art. But overall, let's go ahead and get into the first pose. Okay, so I just went ahead and went with something just a little bit simple. Uh, this is kind of the same pose that I went with, I think, at the end of the, uh, of the review. So, it's very simplistic. Uh, if you want to just go ahead and pose it on your shelf without having to, you know, pull out a stand or anything of the sort, uh, I think this is a fairly good, you know, good pose, and it's really sturdy. It's actually not, it's not really back heavy at all. Uh, I haven't had any kind of issues, and the way the kind of feet are set up uh, with, like, those wheels and everything, it kind of gives it a little bit more stability so uh, on angles it's generally going to be a little bit better to go ahead and pose with a, a wider uh, kind of stance but let's go ahead and move on to the second pose All right, guys, and here is the pose. Uh, sorry that I kind of got like, not necessarily cut out, but um, whenever I went ahead and put it on a stand, I didn't elevate the camera. Uh, but this is the end result. Uh, so my thought process when I, whenever I was posing it like this um, is essentially he's kind of bending to the side and then going to like, with, with the one leg, grab the enemy with the claw. Um, and then probably just go ahead and uh, use that grenade launcher and then just close range, uh, you know, shoot him with the grenade launcher uh, w once he actually grabs the opponent. So that was kind of like my thought. And then, um, you know, maybe if he does grab him close, he can probably use that, uh, that little um, plasma knife of his. And he can just go ahead and, and slice at the head or slice at the cockpit uh, wherever he wants. But um, that, that was just kind of like my thought process. You know, if he is going to go ahead and get in uh, close range, why not go ahead and um, you know utilize two different types of close range uh, attacks. So using the scissor and then also using the uh, plasma uh, rifle and then kind of like more of, I guess more of a, you know, if, if he wants to just go ahead and shoot him with the uh, grenade launcher in the hand, he could definitely do so like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to that last pose. Okay, and here is the third and final pose. Um, so I was just thinking like, you know, he's kind of just flying around or something like that and he's shooting down an enemy. Uh, but he also wants to go ahead and deploy some, um, you know, some of his little head drones. Uh, just to guess, maybe sc uh, scout out any other enemies or uh, perhaps use them to flank. And then I guess they can, you know, shiv or you know, shank uh, the enemy mobile suit. And I, that was kind of like my thought process. Like if I was fighting with this thing, I would try and deploy these little drones as much as possible. Um, so maybe like, you know, deploy it and then sh start shooting down an enemy, um, you know, and then hopefully I can, t you know, use up enough time to go ahead and uh, utilize that drone appropriately. But ultimately guys, it's up to y'all what y'all want to go ahead and, um, you know, pose y'all kits, you know, how, how you want to do it and what styles, what you have in mind. Everyone's unique, so uh, definitely do what you can uh, to, you know, bring out the best of your kits. That's that's the ultimate goal. Uh, and also if you was wondering what the stage, uh, like the little um, 
the stand I'm using. Uh, it's the Stage 5 stand, so it, I know it's mostly for uh, Figmas or, um, you know, any kind of like that, that Figma or, um, I forgot what else they call them. It's, it's just like whatever that, that, that um, figure line is. Um, but this is what it's mostly used for. However, I kind of use it for Gunpla. Uh, sometimes the little pegs don't always work. Um, it's not sometimes it's like too big uh, for the actual model itself, but ultimately I think it looks fine and um, You know honestly if I if I cared and like if I cared enough about this kit Which I mean I do like it, but if I cared enough to give it an actual stand This would be the pose I would put it in however um, You know I don't really want to go ahead and, and get a stand just for this guy He's fine on the ground in my opinion, uh, but that's it for me guys definitely. Thanks for watching uh, Thanks for subscribing and all my newcomers uh, thank y'all for you know um, coming to this channel and uh, definitely hope oh hopefully uh, you enjoy the content that you see. But I'll be seeing y'all tomorrow with another video, um, and hopefully I can get the rest of my room done because I still have a lot of work to do to uh, to get my Gundam room exactly where it needs to be. Uh, but hopefully by next weekend I can go ahead and give y'all a good tour room. Uh, but that's it, guys. Uh, I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye bye.